This is an example of the workflow I would use um, when creating and turning in your docs on the top class LMS. So the first thing I would do is I would find the questions, and we already know from um, trial and error that they are in the diversity, equity, and cultural competence section for this example in this video. When I click through the next buttons, I find my workshop questions and what I actually have to do. What I would do is I would actually take this entire page here and copy it. I would open a Google document, so docs.google.com, and I would paste that entire text inside of the document. And then that way, instead of printing or um, doing something else, I would be able to just type in my thoughts. Remember in term one, module one, that not everything is required. So if this is optional, I maybe might just think about it and then I might just delete it to indicate I'm done. So here's an example of one that I've already copy and pasted. But one of the other questions came up is, well, what do I do? How do I turn this in? Or do I even turn it in? So when you go down here in this competency, you're going to see the turn in assignment for diversity, equity, cultural competence right here. And over here under this green bar, it's, save, it's saying to use a Google Doc. So we're already one step ahead by having copy and pasted and working in this platform. Um, it also says make sure you have shared your assignment so that your virtual coach can have access. And ideally what they have to be able to do is comment. So in order to make sure that whoever reviews your assignment can comment, what you need to do is press on this share up here in the, in the top right hand corner. Your share might have a lock on it, might say private, but what I like to do is, so again, it's this share right up here, and yours might look different, but I like to go to advanced, and we need to make this so anybody on the web, so public on the web, or anyone with the link, we need to make it so they can comment. If you don't make it so that they can comment, your facilitator or your coach won't be able to give you feedback. So again, it tells us that here, and now I've got it set up correctly, share, advanced, change, anyone with the link can comment, and then you save that. And now, okay, so I did that correctly. When I press start here for taking the test, these instructions tell me I'm going to paste the Google Doc right into, or the link to the Google Doc right into this box. So to do that, again, we've got our sharing done correctly. I could either take this link right here, just press copy link and paste it, or I could take this link. And then I copy that and I paste it here. This way, your facilitator or coach will be able to give you comments and um, it will be more efficient.